Hey, hey, hey. Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Snippity, and as I promised you guys in my last video, um, as soon as I found anything else about certification tests, I will let you guys know, and here I am. So, I was doing some research and I came across a l bunch of questions that um, you guys should go over before um, taking your certification exam. And for those of you that still don't know what the certification exam is, <coughs> excuse me, is, is, um, it shows how much you know in um in Photoshop. It'll you'll take this online test and it'll be a like Photoshop simulator, but it's not going to be actual Photoshop. It'll be a flash simulator, and basically it'll ask you questions about Photoshop. It'll ask you where things are, how to do things, and yeah, and then you get scored on a scale from zero to a thousand. A thousand being like a hundred percent an A, eight hundred you know like a B I guess, like so on. So basically, I'm trying to help you guys train for that. And the reason you want to get certified is because it always looks better on a resume to be cert certified. Because if you can imagine yourself applying for a job, okay, let's say there's two people applying for a job and you're one of those people. And the other guy isn't certified. He's just really good with Photoshop, but he's not certified. And you are. So the employer might look at you and he'll say, oh, you're certified. You know where everything you know your way around Photoshop, you know how to do things, you know, you're you're an Adobe associate and he'll look at the other guy and he'll be like, Oh, you just you weren't you're not certified, you know, he has you have something better than the other guy. So it just makes you look better guys. And basically I'm just here to help you guys. And I have a bunch of more questions, but these are just the first ten that I thought I would make. You know, maybe if I have any more time in the video I'll I'll do extra questions. But for now these are the 10 questions that we're going to be going over in this video. So let's get started. What you want to know are the main parts of Adobe Photoshop. The main parts are the application bar, the tools panel, options bar, and the panel dock. The application bar would be this up here, where you have file, edit, image, layer type, etc. This is your application bar, so you really want to know like your way around up here where everything is image you know image size layer manage your layers filters yeah the only thing up here you don't need to know is the help menu I said that in my last video because this isn't going to be on a test the help bar that's never in a test it's pointless alright and the tools panel would be this right here your little dock which you can move around just move it around wherever you want you can you can just put it back here now. <laughs> I like it over there. Now what was it that I was going to do? Well that's for full screen mode. Okay. So yeah that's your toolbar. You know your cursor, your marquee tools, lasso, quick, quick selection, magic wand. This is the crop tool right here. But yeah. So the options bar. The options bar is this bar right here that changes according to whatever tool you have selected over here. So right now I have the cursor selected so it has the cursor options right here. You know, show transform controls. It gives you the bounding box for your whatever layer you're selected. You know, here's question 10, here's question 9, here's my logo in two pieces. Let's say now we go to the quick selection tool. Now it has settings according to the quick selection tool. You can add, you can subtract, <coughs> excuse me, add and subtract, change your brush size, the hardness, softness, spacing, all that. Sample, auto enhance, then here's the crop tool. You see, it changes according to whatever tool you're holding. So that's the answer to that. Now, the panel dock is this over here where you have all your adjustments and styles, your color, your swashes. I don't know if I said that right. Swatches, swashes. All right. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so, and then here's your layers, your channels, your different color modes is basically where the channel is, where your channels are, and then there's your paths. There's never really going to be any paths unless you make some. To make a path, you would just control click and then you would right click and then you would press make work path right here. But I'm not going to get into that. And that was the answer number one, guys. 
And I'm gonna have some of these questions. I'm gonna have these questions in the comments. I mean, not in the comments, in the description below. So you guys won't have to keep going back and forth between the video to find the answers and whatnot. So the second question is, where are the panels and pallets? Okay, we we just went over. Well, I showed you where they were, but what they're gonna ask you is where where the panels and pallets are. You're gonna answer on the right hand side of Photoshop because here it is on the right hand side. You know, layers, channels, paths. Yeah, and that's number two. Number three is where are the tools located? Now this is on the left side. The toolbar is over here on the left side where you have your pen, your text tool, your cursor, your selections, your lasso, everything. And um, yeah, that's the tools. Question number four is where is the document size and zoom located? Where the document size and zoom is located at is just right here, one second. Escape that. All right. Here is your document size, and here is your zoom right here. So right now it's at 50. If you change it to 100, it zooms in. And right here, your document size is 5.93 megabytes. And yeah, this is where it would be located down here at the bottom of any document. Say so example, you see, it's always right here. And that is number four. Now number five asks, what is the application bar? The application bar, as you guys remember, is this one up here. And what it does is it contains the controls for managing and editing like your files. So wherever, if you want to open a file, you would be up here in the application bar. If you want to edit a layer, you would be up here in filter, edit, you know, image, whatever you want to change. So the application bar contains the tools for managing and editing files remember that guys well I have the answer in the description for you guys alright number six says what is the workspace the workspace is the layout of Photoshop basically with the how you where you have everything and it's basically over here you see new workspace the lead workspace right now it's on essentials if you change it to painting you'll see that this right here changes well not much changed here basically this changes here the layout what you have open on your screen at the moment is where your workspace is where everything is located you change it to typography you see you have your text open here paragraph styles and character styles and that's basically what number six is asking you guys what is the workspace it's right here and you can make your own you can rearrange whatever you want and then you could save it alright so number eight. Oh no sorry number seven guys how do you open a document? Well, you guys would go to File, Open. That's pretty basic. Nothing intense. Just File, Open, and you search for your whatever file. All right. Number eight says, how do you scale an image to print? Scale an image to print, you would go to Image, and then Image Size. And this is your document size, not this. You never want to print in pixels. If you print in pixels, your image might come out really, really bad. So you guys always want to pay attention um pay attention to your document size, you want to print in paper size. Paper size is eight and a half by eleven. And your um <coughs> excuse me. Your resolution always wants to be at three hundred because at three hundred it's the like high quality for printing. So that's this way you won't get any like ragged edges or pixels. Like and your image won't be pixelated. So yeah, you just you can you can change it actually. These two are linked right now, so if you change this one the height changes as well. So if I put 8.5, the height would change. If you want to unlink it, it's right here. You would uncheck constraint proportions and then you would change it. 8.5, 11. Yeah. And that's number 8, guys. Right here. Number 9. Now, number 9 is guaranteed to be on the test. I remember um, I had this question. It says, Where do you find fuzziness? Now, fuzziness is over here under layer wait no image adjustments and then where is color balance ooh no no guys sorry about that it's all it's under select and then color range that's where it is and here's your fuzziness slider right here this is the only place where you can find fuzziness there's no other way I don't even think there's a shortcut to get here so yeah here's fuzziness under c color range you would go to select 
color range and you would adjust the fuzziness to whatever they tell you. Now, last is number 10. It says, how do you display the guides? To display the guides, you would go to view and then you would show your rulers. Your rulers are your guides, I guess. And you would you can drag out right here and you can drag out this way too. You know, like X and Y. And then you would just drag it out. Now, if they ask you to set a guide at a certain place, you would go to view and you would press new guide and then you would um, read the question and if they ask you to do it horizontally or vertically you would do whatever whichever it asks you and then how many like where the position of the guide would be let's say this data it's at 3.5 inches you would do that hit ok and it, it would just automatically set it at 3.5 inches for you just get rid of that and yeah those are the 10 questions guys and that's it for the end of this video um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll make sure to put these questions along with the answers in the description so you guys won't have to go back and forth in between the video because I know I wouldn't want to do that. But yeah, guys, make sure to like and comment on the video. I'll see you guys next time.